Welcome back everybody. So we built our little butcher shop. I probably need a sign. I'll, I'll put a sign in there sometime. So we built our butcher shop in the last episode. Today I need to do another building over here. So this is going to be a little coffee shop. And I thought I was going to put a garden here, but I think this is going to be outdoor seating. So we'll just uh, kind of pave all this and put, you know, some chairs and seats over here. But I'm going to put the coffee shop right here. Yeah, and this outdoor seating is going to be... Well, it won't be too big. Just a small little outdoor seat over there. And then the coffee shop. Actually, this is way too long. Oh, dang it. I don't have my... I don't have my silk touch. Well, we'll just have to mainly put the uh, polished andesite there. So that is, so that would be the footprint of the coffee shop. Doesn't have to be too big. Let's see, so back here, I think maybe we're just going to finish off the wall that size. So we won't even need this. We'll leave a leave that as a secret compartment. Do this. Just trying to get the walls here. Experimenting with more color palettes. Oh yeah, I think that'll be fine. So that'll be the steps up. Okay, let's take this out. There we go. Okay, there. So that gets us in. Oops, I forgot. Got a couple. Okay, there. Okay. okay, so then this will be, I'll do a different wall up the sides, but let's get some floor in here. So we're going to go with the andesite and stone. That's kind of the theme for this, uh, at least this first part for the foundation. I'm glad that uh, stone slabs don't break into uh, cobblestone slabs if you didn't have silk touch. That would be that would be quite uh, irritating or a hassle. There. Okay, that should be fine. Most of this is going to be seating too. I think we'll pop that out there. Yeah, so we'll have a little door here. I have a little table there, table there, there, there. And then this will be the counter. And then the coffee makings will be back here. Um, I don't know what the interior is going to be yet. I'm just working on the walls. So I haven't figured out what the counters and stuff. I think I'm going to go with um, like acacia for uh, the... For a contrast, let's get this, these, and these. So let's figure this. I'm gonna want nice big windows here. There. Uh, I don't need windows back, you know, at this part. And 
And this is another experiment. I'm not sure how the bamboo and these uh, oak planks are going to go together. So we'll find out. Here. And I think I'm going to have to take out like this. So this will be like going into the second story. And this will maybe be porch or something. I don't know if I need this whole wall over here. I actually, I think, yes. I think this will, yeah, this will actually go up. So we'll, yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll use that wall over there. Once again, I'm winging it. That's my uh, design. My design model is usually, uh, you wing, I wing it and see what happens. There we go. Let's do a nice big window there. So if we do a small window, actually let's do there. So the counter can be here. And this gives us plenty of seating and windows. Um, let's do that. Let's, there. Plenty of seating and windows over here. Okay, that's looking good. I think I need... Oops. Up here we need to do more up here like this okay so this goes into the second story so this would be second story I need to get a ceiling in here yeah, and this is where the porch will go up into there yeah I think I'll leave that that looks good so let's go see how this looks. Moment of truth. Not, not too bad. A little confusing because of the way the, you can't really see the windows and stuff. bit colorful but yeah I think that'd be fine and, uh, well that makes it stand out much more I think I can even oh even do this oh oh here we go just had an idea just had an idea do you see a little light bulb go off here a little ding 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 that was uh, my brain having an idea. A corner window. There, lots of light. Lots of light in there. And I bet I could do the same thing over on this side. Yeah, corner windows are nice. Now put some plants and stuff around there, and that'll look really. And I'll, with the green plants, I think it'll help pull out that lime green window and I lime green window um, I'm doing the uh, what do I have in my chest build method so I kind of go through my chest find out what I have and let's see what we can do to use it so that's what this is so I think that's that's looking good I, I think I can do the second story Oh, I need to find out some kind of, uh, I need a ceiling in here. Okay, so I did put a ceiling in here. I did birch because it keeps it nice and light. But I am going to have to do a uh, contrast on here because it is looking a little samey. But we'll have our windows here going with the same lime green. And there is a little bit of green in uh, bamboo. I mean, bamboo starts as green blocks. Okay, so that looks okay there. We got four, four panes left. Why don't we do right there? Take that. Okay, 
Yeah, that'd be fine. It's not staring right at that building, so I think that'd be good. Okay, so now we need a roof. So let's see, how do I want to do this? So there's going to be one roof here and another roof over on this side. So let's start on this side. Let's pull this. Is that gonna be fine? Yeah, that'll be fine. Cause that'll be a, uh, like an overhang here. So this is almost like a porch. Yeah, porch coming off there. Oops. Where's my, there we go. So it's going to be a standard, uh, your standard roof. Oh, of course that means I'm going to throw myself off the roof. So I'm going to have the slabs going down the sides. And then we're going to use the stairs and some more slabs to go up. Okay, so this one here. Pitiful jump. Just a pitiful jump. Okay, that's fine. Let's do uh, there. Okay, and this one. Good there, and then I'm going to do one more. And then we're going to switch over to slabs. And then here, I'm not going all the way out the front there where my, you know, my porch is. So this one is just going to go up here. Okay, that's starting to take shape. I think the contrast of the granite on the top really helps. So we want a porch here. So I'm gonna do there and there. We're just going to stick with the uh, mixed granite here. Oops. We're going to need those, but not right now. Let's see, is that right? Maybe one. One more. Yeah. I was off balance. That's where it's like centered on the building, but not centered on the door. Oh, well. Oh, and my blocks aren't even in the right spot. Well, it actually helps because uh, it looks a little better once it's farther out. Let's 
there. So I kind of got a little copper rail there. Got stairs going up. And a roof. So I think, yeah, that'll be fine on this side. Yeah, what am I missing? Let's get rid of some of this. So what I'm missing are some greenery, I believe. So let's get some azalea. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay, let's get rid of the snow. We don't like the snow. Snow is bad. So this will come out and meet the road. Now what I think if I put a actually let's put a bush here. I kind of put a like a little hedge. There. There, if I kind of hedge that up. Hedge my bet, so to speak. That'll be good. And then let's put another one there. Oops. There. There. Yeah, that looks much better. Once I get the greenery in there, that does help. This side looks a little blah. So maybe if I do something like this. Yeah, kind of like that's overgrown. And then actually, oh, I don't have any. It was bone meal. I'm going to see if I tree that up. Technical term. I'll just put some trees on that side that'll hide the side of the building and then help and then all the greenery it kind of looks like there's a ooh, like there's vines and stuff hanging off the edge there yeah, so you can't really see that whole side, but I, that that's fine, because that side was ugly. I wanted to cover that up, so I think covering it up with trees. And then I can actually put uh, maybe a few tables underneath there, once I get rid of all the snow. 